hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm juliana and in today's video i'm going to talk about my june wrap up so in the month of june i was only able to finish les miserables by vitor hugo i posted a video not in june but in july uh, a, of a review video about les miserables and I talked to you there in length about the book and my thoughts, my feelings, my, you know, my impressions. Although it's a book that has many digressions and a lot of pages of filler, at least in my opinion, they are filler, uh, the juice of the story in itself of the plot it's quite addicting the main character or at least for me the main character it is Jean Valjean and I loved that character it's my favorite one and I think that it's a um, voyage of a hero he's awesome and I love him I think you should give this one a try it's really lengthy I know but if you're not so worried about oh I have to read everything there is to read in the book if you're not a type of person if you're more like me you can get to those parts and read fast to see if there's anything that's going to add to the story and if, it's, if not pass the page and do that at least I did that for um, a chunk of the book because at least in the Battle of Waterloo where he talk where he talks about the Battle of Waterloo I wasn't interested at all that was so boring that I did that I read fast and pass the page, read fast, pass the page, read fast, pass the page, and there you go. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's a worthy book to read, so go check it out. Then, oh, so I usually in this type of videos, I talk about the books that I read in set month, the books that I'm currently reading, and then movies and TV series that I watched, uh, if I watched any. So now we're finished the books that I read. Now for the books that I'm currently reading. I'm reading A House at the Bottom of the Lake by Josh Mullerman. And I'm still at the beginning. This is a, a story about a couple of teenagers. They are 17, a boy and a girl. Um, they met each other in the shop of um, of his father. I mean, he invites her to go to on a boat or a canoe to a lake, and that would be that the their first date. And they go, but the lake has. Um, neighboring lakes that are smaller and they go there and then they even discover that it is another neighboring lake that is even more smaller and they have to go to a kind of tunnel to get there but they are curious so they go and then they um, look down and they see something odd in, in, under the water and they figure out that that is a house. They look at each other and they are like, well, we have to dive in. And so that's what he does, the boy. I stopped there, so I don't know what's going to happen. But, you know, it, the, the type of writing is really easy, really fast to read. Um, it's not a very complicated language and 
it's quite intriguing. I don't really know what to expect from this story, so I'm quite curious. I first heard of this book uh, in a video by Books and Lala. You must know her. And yeah, I'm quite enjoying it. And there you go. Then the other two you already know. So The Brothers Karamazov by Dostoevsky and Guns, Germs and Steel by Jared Diamond. These are two books that are in the challenge 12 books for 12 months. So that's why I'm trying to uh, pick up on the challenge. So there we go. Okay, now I didn't watch any movies, but I watched or started to watch two series. The first one is from 2022 and is The Gilded Age. This is with Christine Baranski playing Arne Van Rij, Cynthia Nixon playing Ada Brooke, so the, the sister of the character played by Christine Baranski, uh, Louisa Gummer playing Marion Brooke, a niece of these two women. So this is the boom of the 1880s in New York City and we have a family coming to the 61 street near the 5th Avenue called the Russell's family and they are no money and they are right in front they are they are building their house right in front of the house of the Van Rye and Brooke so the Rye Brook family are also old money and as, uh, as I said they live in the 61st street near 5th Avenue on the Upper East Side of Manhattan to be more specific. <laughs> so conflicts facing the upper and upper middle classes and the domestic workers that tend to all of their needs. So this is um, like a moment in time, you know, a portrait of a mo moment in time. And uh, they talk about the railroads where when they were was first building them and the um, competitors between companies of the railroads and the Russell, so the husband or the man of the family, is an um, entrepreneur. He's uh, the boss of a rail railroad company and is very su successful. But his wife, M Mrs. Russell, wants to get into the old money society. But the woman or the women of that said society don't want her to get in. So that's a bit of a um, head to head there. But she for, you know, she, she begins to take friends in other ways and in other parts and slowly she's get, going to be able to tiptoe in in that society, get in the middle of what is happening and, you know, be up there. And the main character, I would say, is played by Louisa Gummer, that the character is, that she plays is Marion Brooke, so the niece of these two women, one is widow, is a widow and the other is unmarried um, and her father died and so their brother right so of the aunt so she doesn't have anywhere to go and her father didn't left any money he only left that uh, and so she is uh, taken by their aunt her aunt, 
as I was saying. So Mr. Agnes van Rijth and Miss um, Mrs. or Miss I I don't know. I'm sorry. Now I don't remember the difference, but you you understand what I mean. Ada Brook. And so then we have a, a love affair in a way or a pretendant and mm, well I'm not going to tell any more um, tell you more because um, the funny of these uh, series as any other series is for you to figure out by yourself so I think I gave you the necessary information for you to be curious about it if this is your type of series maybe perhaps is not but for me I love a period films and period um, series so for me this is gold and okay the other series that I started watching so I watched the first season and now I'm uh, at the beginning of the second season six feet under this is a series from 2001 or 2000 no I'm not sure um, this is a oldie but a good one and I heard about this series so many times I remember seeing some episodes on television but for some reason I never gave it a real shot you know and so this is with Richard Jenkins playing Nathaniel Fisher Francis Conroy playing Ruth Fisher, Michael C. Hall playing David Fisher, Peter Cross playing Nate Fisher, Lauren Ambrose playing Claire Fisher. As you could see, they are all Fishers, so they are a family, father, mother and children. The the business of the family is um, is a funeral home and one of the so the oldest of the children didn't want anything to do with the business family or the I'm sorry the family business and they went to Seattle so because they are in Los Angeles they live in Los Angeles and he went to Seattle if I'm not mistaken to work not is not better but he's far away you know then we have the second son that works in the business family so he took a course and he prepares the the deceased um, with the help of an employee they that they have um, but right at the beginning of this series right in the first episode it happens a car crash and that involves their father and he dies and so that's the turning the the start point of this series um, and then we have him appearing to the children in specific moments like as a ghost or something so he is kind of present all the time and we see the three children uh, you know they are not small they the oldest is 35 the second one is 31 and then claire is 20 i think 18 20 i don't know no she's she's 17 i think yeah 17 because she's she doesn't know what she wants to do with her future if she wants to go to college or not so yeah she's 17 and she also doesn't want anything to do with the business family with the family business i'm sorry <laughs> but well we accompany their lives and the mother as well the widowed um, how she recovers how they all recover you know uh, their relationships um, their issues 
it's a very interesting series. It um, points out many topics that are really, really current. So this is a series from 2000 and it could be a series from nowadays because the topics that it approaches are so current, yeah. And it's really impressive how that series at that time was so, was seeing the future, you know. And I think it's an oldie, but it's a very good one. And I really, I highly advise you for you to go watch it if you haven't. And if you have, what do you think? What am I supposed to expect for the next seasons? Did you enjoy the ending or not? So let me know all about it without any spoilers, please. But I would love to know. And this is my June wrap up. So please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. Press the ring bell button so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. Leave a like and follow me on Instagram. And yeah, bye!